IBS is irritable bowel syndrome. It's very common nowadays. Many people find themselves constantly bloated tummy and uh, they have a problem with the bowel movement, either constipation or diarrhea, or both, or alternate. How we treat this in Chinese medicine? First of all, we must realize in our body, if we need a good digestive system, not only we have to have something like say, you know, all these good food, everything, but we need everything moving smoothly. In our body, you probably don't know, your small intestines plus large intestines together, the whole length of the intestines is about quite long, it's about seven meters long. So therefore, the movement of the bowels or intestines. Also, it's not simply just like say you have like gravity. You know your food from here this end just just dropping down to the body. Sometimes up and down. So therefore, it's not so simply just because of the gravity or or the movement like that. It's actually the muscles of the intestine controlling all the movement. The muscles of the intestines in this long sort of a tube, they need to work in the best order. In other words, they all need to synchronize. But because some people have a problem with this movement. So some part of intestines become moving much slower than other part. So the cause lots of uh, stagnation and the, the contents of the whatever you know in the intestines become fermented. When they start fermented and then there's still because of the gas, so that's why it causes lots of bloating. And this gas, if they're producing too much fermentation, can cause lots of acid and this can cause diarrhea. And if the all these blockages become bad, can cause constipation. So therefore, constipation diarrhea, bloating are very common problems. To treating IBS in Chinese medicine is very important to balance this whole movement. So in Chinese medicine, we say the organ control this movement have a three major organs, stomach or spleen and liver and kidneys. So therefore, in Chinese medicine, when people come to see me for IBS, I treating their kidney and liver, they will say, well, I have a blood test, everything in hospital said my kidney liver, nothing wrong. Well, I'm just saying to, to them, it's not you're wrong or right. Or in other words, it's not black and white. You know, it is your body, the kidney or liver, all sort of things are not well tuned. So therefore, the blood which nourish the muscles of intestines is not good enough. So the muscles of intestines become tensed or become spasm. So that is why when we're treating the IBS, it is not only treating the stomach, on its own. We must take all the things, particularly liver, kidney and stomach together.